scuttling around in the scrub of the late Permian, you might have found one of these. This is the cast of a beautiful fossil of Nycterolita. It's part of a, an extinct group of reptiles and fed on things like proto-cockroaches, dragonflies, millipedes. It's got quite large eyes, suggesting that it might have been nocturnal. And we also know that it had really good hearing, something quite unique for animals of that time. But then look at this chap. It's Davinia. Would have grown to about 50 centimetres, looked like a small dog. Neither a mammal nor a reptile. It's got forward-facing eyes. It was perhaps a predator of some kind. But look, from the top, you can see it's got really wide cheeks and the remains here have perhaps a sagittal crest, suggesting that it had very powerful muscles, a powerful bite. In fact, might have been fishing for shellfish down on the beach and crunching them up with its powerful jaws. But last, and perhaps most impressive, this is a magnificent specimen of a super predator, Innostrancevia. What an animal. Just look at those saber-toothed teeth there. Now those are slashing tools. Those are for wounding prey, waiting for it to bleed to death, and then catching up with it and swallowing large chunks whole. This animal would have grown to about three meters in length, been very fast moving, and been terrorizing the large herbivores of its time. What a fantastic beast it must have been. But by the end of the Permian, along with nearly every other living thing on Earth, they would be dead. certain how it started, but deep inside the ancient earth, superheated rock is rising, pushing upwards against the solid outer crust, until it can take no more. The crust fails. landscape physically torn apart as lava floods onto the surface, forming great curtains of fire. This is just the beginning of the most deadly volcanic event in Earth's history. <laughs> 